In a small town down in Arkansas Where the river flows There's a man with a passion That everybody knows Howdy, howdy everybody. Welcome to HT's EDC. Coming at you from the back patio and the wood pile. And we are coming at you with this lovely face right here. Huh, Abs? Ab, what are you doing? Huh? You want to say hello to the people? I believe she's watching a bug crawl across the driveway. She's pretty entranced with that. So uh, we'll, we'll leave her to that. But uh, she says hello. And we are going to get at it this morning. Hope everybody is doing well. Wishing you guys uh, sunny skies. If you guys are uh, finishing up the long work week and want to get out there and uh, do some visiting, uh, friends and family, uh, get out into the great outdoors. I know it's burning hot out there, but uh, I am uh, nothing I can do about that part of it. But I am wishing you sunny skies and pretty weather. Uh, if you uh, if you guys are going to be outdoors grilling, uh, getting off in uh, some of that summer heat. But I uh, hope you have fair weather wherever you're at watching this. But we are going to get into one of my favorite sub-series I do from time to time. And that is none other than a stag and a stogie. Sometimes I have to substitute uh, a sharp for a stogie because, well, I'm out of stag at the moment. Or, you know what? I just want a stogie, <laughs> so I have done just a sharp and a stogie before, but today we are back to the good old stag, and, and it's going to be a good one. I may have shown this knife uh, in the history, on the uh, in the far past on this channel, maybe a two for Tuesday, or uh, I may have even showed it a long time ago by itself, but it's been a while, and I think you guys will get a kick out of it, uh, nevertheless. And we'll do a quick pocket check before we get off into it. I guess Abs is uh, d through with her bug watching and making laps now. But in honor of uh, Stagger Day and doing a stag and a stogie today, I figured, well, why don't you carry a little stag? And uh, this is my recent, uh, one of my recent trades from my good brother, Jason up at Ozark Boy 417. Shout out to you, my brother. We were actually texting a little earlier uh, before I uh, got on here. And uh, I know he's up and at him this morning. Probably fi he's fixing to sling y'all some content. But uh, anyway, this is what's going in my pocket today. A good old stag stockman from Parker, USA. And uh, check out that stag, folks. Pretty beefy. Pretty good stuff. But anyway, that is going in the old MKM slip today, and uh, that's what we're going to rock. But anyway, stag and a stogie. We are going to get into this knife really quick. And I know some of you are going to laugh this morning. But I figured I would class, class the joint up a little bit. I'm going to be showing sneak peek a really good looking stag knife here in just a second. So I figured I would uh, class it up with a little Davidoff cigars this morning. But they are actually cigarellas. So the big guy is fixing to smoke a cigarella a little bitty this morning. You'll probably get a chuckle out of it. Uh, but they are a very, uh, a very uh, good smoke. And I promise you, <laughs> you can read all the labels when I show you this. It is tobacco and not something else because uh, it's kind of small and uh, could be mistaken. But I promise you, there they are in there. This is tobacco. A cigarella. Cigarella. Rella. And we are going to light up today with the old 74 silver dollar and the old Canadian loon sent to me from my good one of my good buddies up in the Great White North. 
and uh, the big guy is fixing to smoke a cigarello. So here we go. <laughs> and off and going. And we will get a quick sip of Joe. All right. Let's do this. Today we have a sow belly. And to be honest, I am typically not a sow belly fan. Uh, when I like especially like a sow belly stockman three blade i like traditional stockmans uh like something like i just showed you the sow belly stockmans for whatever reason just don't speak to me it has a little different uh spay blade on there i i don't know what it is you guys don't care <laughs> it's just a personal preference it's not my favorite style of stockman but I do like the sow belly frame, the chassis. I love these lines here. And whenever I can find uh, a single bladed sow belly, now that ring, that trips my trigger. And that is what we have here. This is a single bladed. Check out that gnarly, look at that. Now how there's a good, who knew? My camera actually uh, focuses sometime. Look at that gnarly. Look at that popcorn stag, beautiful stag on this thing. And uh, you guys would know it's a single blade if I'd show you a blade, huh? So let's do that. Check that out, folks. Check out this silhouette. You got to tell me, you guys tell me if those don't have some just that don't have a flow, just a beautiful line with that single clip blade on it. Like a Corvette or something, folks. I don't know. But it is just... Oh! Of course, we have added... HT has added a little leather lanyard here and a little dark bead, dark wood bead to kind of go with the darkness uh, in the middle of that, that stag. But, folks, this is... See if we can get lucky again. This is a Viper Italy, and if it'll focus, it is a collaboration with uh, brother Mike Lake Latham uh, and Collector Knives up there in Missouri. Uh, CollectorKnives.net, uh, great little uh, online store there. Uh, but anyway, this was a collab between Mike and his Collector Knives. If it's got a little CK on there, if you see that CK beside the Viper, and it's for collector knives, they collaborated and uh, made this knife. And uh, I think it is killer. Obviously, this is a modern, modern slip joint, modern traditional. We do have screw construction here, a screw pivot. And these are titanium, dual titanium bolsters. And if you take this thing around the back, now this is something that is almost standard. You see all the time with the Italian makers, and I love it. And that is a crowned back spring. Can you guys see that? See how that is all rounded? That is not flush. It does stick up just a little bit, but it is nice and rounded the whole way. It's cooler than a cucumber, folks. And you talk about transitions and fit and finish. Look right there. If I can get if I can get this to focus right here where my finger is, that is where the blade and that back spring meet. I'm probably trying to show you something you're not going to see because it is just that flush it is just you can't it's seamless you talk about in the open position 
about having stepping. Uh -uh. Zero. It is just so good. And then completely flush. One thing I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, the Italian makers do right. And that is fit and finish. They crush fit and finish. They crush walk and talk. It is not something you have to worry about like we do over here in the States. We won't get on. Mm -hmm. Some of you know who I'm, some I'm talking about. But the same issues we uh, run into a lot over here in the States, and I'm not bashing the States. I'm just shooting facts, folks. And, and let's see if I am. How's that for centering? Let's do some walk and talk. I'm going to be quiet and just let y'all enjoy this. Check out this wall. Solid, solid, solid wall. Just put together immaculately, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, it is what it is. But the Italians make a stellar knife. And by the way, of course, you can see here, we, we were talking about the crowned uh, back spring and that and that follows the blade all the way up here to this wedge So all this right here this inch inch and a half of blade. It is all nice Rounded exactly like that back spring and that's right there where my finger is It's where it meets and it is just done flawlessly uh, Blade steel again. I said this is a modern traditional so we have M390 super steel, super stainless stainless steel. So we have a super steel, does have the modern components, the liners here. We have a titanium frame. We have titanium lined. We have titanium bolsters. I, and I believe that, I know that's not titanium on the back spring. So that is a some form of stainless steel that they have went with to match up against this M390 uh, blade steel. Well, let's just look at this blade. Has a nice switch starting right here at this point and coming down. It's pretty subtle. You can see it right there. And just a good looking, just this knife just flows. And uh, in hand, let's do it in the left. How's it in hand? I'm not choked up. See, I still can come up here. I'm just grabbing it natural and right there, no problem. I'm squeezing down. I am completely got a little bit of bolster left. And if I choke up here right on that choil, I have just about a whole bolster. If I come up on the knife like you would, you know, be whittling or, you know, carving, then I've got all that right there remaining, folks. And again, like I said, tossed a little lanyard on here. Just makes it, you know, pulling out of a pulling out of a sheath, really easy, and I like it. I think it looks good. But yeah, this is the Viper single bladed sow belly M390 blade steel on the clip point blade, stag, and just this is stag and a stogie. I don't know that we're giving this stag enough of its due, but look at that, folks. Y'all hear that? Oh, it's like popcorn. It's the good stuff. It's gnarly. It's naughty. They did not cheat you on the stag. It is fit seamlessly. Uh, I know not everybody uh, likes these uh, modern traditionals, but... Uh, yep. 
around my mouth too much. Have to relight that, but I do. And uh, they have a place in my collection for sure. This thing is awesome and just that's tuned like a slip joint should be, folks. I come from a place of I know I know good walking talk. I do. I don't, I don't say that arrogantly, um, but I know what walk and talk in a properly tuned slip joint sounds and feels like. So do they. So do the Italians. How much is something like this? Uh, I believe this was, uh, it was triple digits. I believe this was 100, I want to say 120, 130 range. Uh, at the time when I got it, but uh, hey, have you guys seen GEC prices lately? Uh, and uh, especially throw in something with stag, uh, you're getting stag here, you are getting a superior blade steel, some titanium. I know those some of those components ain't for everybody, but do I think the value if you like something like this, do I think it is overpriced or do I think there's value in this? Oh, I do. I could actually absolutely see this piece costing upwards of 200, 175 to $200 range. Uh, so to get into something like this under a hundred and a half, uh, with the components it has, yeah, <laughs> your mileage may vary. Uh, like I said, I don't remember. I've had this a while, a couple, three, three years probably, but I believe I was somewhere in the 120 to 130 range when I pick this up, so I love it. I absolutely love this little uh, single bladed sow belly. Uh, like I said, it this is how I like the chassis. I like the chassis and, and I know I'm weird, but I like my stockman. I like my stockmans with three blades. I don't like this chassis for a stockman. I can't explain that to you. Doesn't matter anyway. But I think this lines the curves of this knife with just one single blade. Maybe you understand that and kind of can kind of see my vision. But I think this single blade just flows. I think it's elegant. Uh, it feels well in the hand. Uh, this is very nimble. Like if you were, well, it's my old ashtray right here. But say I was whittling or whatever. I mean, it just, it wants to work. That shape of it, it, it lends itself to some good, just feels like it wants to whittle or carve a little bit. So, one of those, if you know, you know. But, this one has a HT stamp of approval. This little stogie, not something else, I promise you. Uh, box is right here. Cigarillos. Uh, we have to relight that cup of joe should be good and cool down now and uh yeah i think that was a good one today folks you guys tell me in the comments do you think it was uh smooth a smooth operator had some of that italian flair italian style uh i do i bought into it obviously and uh i think she's a good one anyway enjoy the rest of your saturday we can Shut up and keep this under 20 minutes, but we're going to get off here. We love you. God bless you. Like, subscribe, tell somebody about the ball-headed guys. Loves him some stag down in good old Arkenstone. We'll see you on the next one. HD, out. Dead and night, I'm wondering, what are you listening to? Just a sad song playing on the radio